And three years since Alexis Scott was reported missing. Good Sunday evening. I'm Kyle Beachy. Today, the efforts to find answers continued on both land and on water. Anthony Landau was there, and he has more. The search proceeds for Alexis Scott, this time searching the Illinois River and close to shore near Detweiler Park. The mother of Alexis says there was reason to believe she was in the area. Volunteers looking for blankets used containers and any indication of life. It's the first search in this area since last year. And with the water levels low, we're hoping to either find or exclude this area. Even though the search party is encountering burrs, cooler weather, and even a pandemic, it's not enough to stop April from finding her daughter. Um, three years of crying, stressing, worrying. Um, some days I really, you know, I can really get out here and conquer the world. Other days I'm so low I can't do anything. Volunteer Sarah Martin has been searching for Alexis since day one and has become close with April. Well, April is like the strongest person I know. Seriously, because I can't imagine, and she goes days without sleeping trying to figure out where her child is. For support and encouragement, April has connected with other families of missing persons. She says the hardest times are when bones are reported to be found. They're all hurting tremendously. Nobody wants the bad news, of course. Nobody wants to know that their child didn't make it. You have to keep going until we find her. We can't give up until we find her. Reporting in Peoria, I'm Anthony Landall.